Welcome everyone, I am Michael, your host for Antediluvian Revelations. This is the 15th episode of the 4th edition podcast reading of the poetic retelling of the Book of Enoch the Prophet. The complete text of this 4th edition is currently available as a free download in PDF format from polyatlotionpubs.com. Be sure to download your free copy of this revelational guide to the future of mankind. In this episode, Enoch encounters a prophetic vision of the distant future. This vision is similar to the vision of the apocalypse seen by the Apostle John, and there are very serious similarities between them. Before all of the events of Judgment Day and the end of mankind, God's plan for an intervention involved Enoch and his descendants. The details of how God directed this extraterrestrial intervention event become the focus in this episode, as Enoch observes and records all of it for posterity because this information is all about the path of angels. The Book of Enoch was the first text of ancient Hebrew literature that predicts the apocalyptic end of mankind and the advent of Jesus Christ. Get ready for the second coming of Jesus Christ. Get ready for the Apocalypse. Enoch was aloft with the watchers in his days. He beheld a deep valley, and wide was its entrance. The rest of the world, all who dwell on land, on the sea, and on the islands, will bring to it gifts, presents, offerings, and tributes. Yet that deep valley will not be full. Those within that valley will commit iniquitous sins. Whatsoever they produce by labor, the sinners will devour with crime. However, they will all perish from the face of the Lord of Spirits, and from the face of this earth. United they will stand up, and together they will fall, not ever knowing God, who is forever and ever. Enoch saw the angels of punishment, who were gathering and watching those who dwelled there on earth in iniquity, and they were preparing every instrument of destruction. Enoch asked the angel of peace, For whom those instruments are they preparing? The angel of peace who accompanied him said, These are abiding time and preparing for the eviction of powerful ones, those of the earth who claim to be kings when they are thieves and liars. They will perish by the work of their crimes against God and man. Afterwards, the righteous and chosen house of his congregation will appear unchangeable thenceforwards in the name of God, the Lord of Spirits. Nor shall those mountains exist in his presence as the earth and the hills, as the fountains of water exist. The righteous will be relieved from the vexation of those sinners. turned and looked to another part of the earth where he saw a deep valley that was burning in fire. Into this valley were brought many monarchs and the mighty. There he saw instruments being made, fetters of iron without weight. Enoch asked the angel of peace, For whom are these shackles prepared? The angel replied, These bindings are prepared for the host of Azazel, that they may be delivered over and judged to the lowest condemnation that those demons of nationalism may be overwhelmed with hurled stones, that those who oppress others may be thoroughly punished with rockets and bombs. None of them are innocent, and they will all suffer for the harm they cause, as the Lord of Spirits has commanded, because those criminals have sinned. Michael, Gabriel, Raphael, and Fanuel shall be strengthened in that day, and then shall they cast all of those sinners into a furnace of blazing fire. The holy watchers will avenge the Lord of Spirits for their crimes, because those sinners became the servants of Satan by seducing all others who dwell upon the earth with their pleas, supplications, and lies. 
Surely in those days of the early 21st century, punishment from the Lord of Spirits will go forth upon all of the world for their iniquity. Just as it is written, so shall it be, and there will be no other gods before Eloi, the Shining One, saith the Lord. those days because they are prelude to the end of days for mankind punishment will go forth from the Lord of Spirits what will happen however is not the same as that which will take place in the first destruction of earth the first reset for all of humanity is a warning of what is to come in this first reset the receptacles of water which are above the heavens will open up and the fountains likewise which are under the heavens and under the earth will begin to flow with all the waters of earth all these waters of earth which are multiplied in the heavens and other waters from within the earth will be mixed together the water that comes from the heavens will be the agent coming from the heavens beyond earth as ice in origin a comet aggravated and flung from the oort cloud and aggressed by jupiter's gravity toward the earth and the water which is under the earth shall be the recipient all shall be destroyed those who dwell on the earth and those who dwell below the extremities of heaven having trespassed on earth in defiance of God's commandments. By this means, the errant alien angels will understand that they have wrought a terrible iniquity, having committed the violation of a universal oath on earth against humanity, which has offended the Lord. And by this means of destruction shall they perish, this way of water being the only one like it ever imposed. Then the Most High God, the Great and Holy One, spoke to Enoch and said, I will send you, Enoch, in some later years to come to the son of Lamech, who will be your great-grandson Noah. You will say to him in my name, Conceal thyself. Depart from all others into the wilderness of the north, to the far reaches of Siberian forests in Asia. Then explain to him the cataclysmic events which are about to take place for all the earth shall perish. The waters of the deluge shall come over the whole of the earth, and all things which are in it shall be destroyed. Teach thy great-grandson how he may escape, and how his seed may remain in all the earth. Then the Lord turned to Raphael, whom God gave power over the spirits of men and angels, and commanded him, saying, Find Azazael and in foot that he may not escape. Cast him into darkness with his eyes blinded. Open the desert which is east of Jerusalem and cast him in there to rot and decay beneath the sands. Throw him and hurl him upon pointed stones, covering him with darkness. There shall he remain forever. Cover his face that he may not see the light when you do this. And in the great day of judgment, he will be consumed in the fire that will rise up into the extremities of the Earth's atmosphere in that one place on Earth on that very day. Raphael made haste to leave from there to do this task knowing that God's command was serious and urgent. Raphael hastily exited upon hearing God's command, the others stood ready for their orders because this was the event whereupon God decreed his judgment for the actions of the fallen angels, and how to make repairs to correct the evolutionary course of mankind on planet Earth, such that there might be a return to the original course of evolution as he designed. Restore the Earth 
which those errant angels have corrupted, and announce life to it again that I may revive it. All of the sons of men shall not perish in consequence of knowing every secret those fallen watchers have revealed and taught to their offspring, the Nephilim. All the earth has been corrupted by the effects of Azazel's teaching. To him, therefore, ascribe the whole crime that he suffered greatly. The Lord God Almighty then turned to Gabriel and said, Go to the biters, the reprobates, to the children of fornication, destroy them and their children of sexual immorality, the offspring of those wanton and womanizing watchers, and remove them from among mankind and the earth, bring them forth and excite them one against another, causing them to perish by their own hands in mutual slaughter, for eternal life as a length of their days shall never be theirs. The Nephilim will entreat thee for my mercy, but they and their fathers shall not obtain their wishes. They will hope for eternal life and repentance, but they will not have the benefit of Banuel. They will only live on earth as long as 500 years more before being destroyed in the deluge as I command. Gabriel did as God commanded, leaving immediately to invoke and incite a holy war among earth's offspring upon the earth. The news spread quickly among the condemned offspring of the fallen ones, the Nephilim, Anunnaki, the Emites, the Amorites, and the Raphaites, so that wars, terrors, and horrors increased worldwide. They fought among themselves as God had decreed. Because God had given Gabriel the power over heaven and earth, the task of inciting a holy war among those of whom God had condemned to destruction has always been and will always be his task. But Gabriel also protects the elect whom God has chosen to survive and shield from those wars. To Michael the Lord said, Go and announce the adjudication of his crime to Shamyaza and my judgment to the others who are with him, those who have been associated with women that they might be polluted with all their impurity when all of their sons shall be slain, and when they shall see the perdition of their beloved, find the souls of those offspring of the fallen, for seventy generations underneath the earth, until the day of judgment and consumption, which will effectively last for eternity, because they shall be taken away into the lowest depths of the everlasting fire of torment. This confinement will be an imprisonment forever in the prison of angels. Shamyaza will not be imprisoned as those others, Immediately after their final incarceration, he will, together with them, burn and perish after being bound only until the consummation of many generations. Effectively, God's mercy being extended to Shamyaza, who in truth, which was Michael's virtue to say, tried to prevent the crime from its inception. Shamyaza's fate is to simply burn and perish after being confined until the day of judgment, rather than burn forever which is the eternal torment for the others and their offspring. God's mercy for Shamyaza was to take away the gift of eternal life, which becomes an eternity of punishment for the others. This concludes episode 15 of Antediluvian Revelations, a poetic retelling of the Book of Enoch, the Prophet. This episode presented subsegments 1 through 6 of Part 2, Canto 3, from the 4th edition. All the music selections used in these podcasts come from YouTube's content creator resources, and all tracks are copyright free for content creators who publish their works on YouTube. This audio podcast series is available for free on all of your favorite audio platforms or on YouTube in the Poly at Logia Publishing. YouTube channel. Enoch learns about the path of angels and how God's plan for an intervention in the evolution of mankind involved his descendants. Noah, the great grandson of Enoch, would be the next chosen one on earth, but he was not the Christ. Noah would become the second man in the history of mankind to receive a portion of everlasting life, while the sinners in the Nephilim will perpetually perish for their crimes. Be sure to subscribe for notifications of the next release. Thank you for listening. I am Michael.